What is up guys? Welcome to Linda Insights. It's time for some Father Friday. Today we'll be talking about a very important yet difficult uh, topic. And so that topic is trauma. And the definition of trauma that I will be using today is this. Psychological trauma is damage to the mind that occurs as a result of a distressing event. Trauma is often the result of an overwhelming amount of stress that exceeds one's ability to cope or integrate the emotions involved with that past experience. I'm pretty sure that every single person, whether this is a minor trauma or like a big trauma, we have all experienced trauma, dad. Um, so I guess my question for you is, what's something in your life that you have found to be traumatic? What do you want today? You want minor trauma or you want a big one? Well then, give me something in the middle then. Give me, give me something in the middle. Uh, one of the traumas that I faced I must have been around six plus years. Okay. When I began school uh, in my country, Zimbabwe, then we didn't have preschool or crash or any of those things. So when you were ready, when you could lift your hand up above your head and if you could reach your ear. That was you, a real thing? Yeah, like, it was a real thing. Oh my That's goodness. how they would test you. Okay. If you're ready to go to school. So I went to do first grade, uh, but in the community where I lived, there were very few children because it was a farming community. So uh, just overnight like that, my parents and my grandfather and my grandmother decided I needed to be moved to live with another family. Just like that? Just like that. Because in that next community, there was a facility for first grade but in my community there was no facility for first grade we were so few that we could not constitute a first grade class so my uncle put me on my grandfather's bicycle at the back <laughs> i can just imagine that ah yes it was the day was about to to come to an end so we arrived at this family at night with my uncle and he told me, when we were leaving, he didn't tell me where we were going. My mother packed my stuff. And when we were there, he tells me, this is where I am leaving you. This is where you'll be going to school from every day. That was my first day of school. Hmm. So I didn't allow him to do that. I didn't allow him to leave. So I, I, I clung on to him. And then we slept middle of the night and i don't know what time exactly i've never been able to ask him what time he left yeah when i fell asleep oh no he left oh. so when i woke up in the morning i i cried oh, that's and so then when i think about that day i still feel a lump in my throat yeah i cried the whole day i bet because in the morning, that's when I saw clearly the family I was living with. Mm -hmm. And then I went to school uh, only to get into a bunch of first graders that I didn't know any one of them. Yeah. I, that was traumatic to me. Mm -hmm. uh, that has always lived with me. I have talked about it a little bit, but I don't know how to completely get rid of it. It has been formative in such a way that some of the things that I do now in life mm -hmm. emanate or emanated from that experience. So what would be some of those things that you do because of that traumatic experience? Yeah. One of those things that I remember clearly is that ever since then I never got to live with my parents mm -hmm. consistently for over three months Wow, under one roof. Wow. That never happened again in my life. Wow. And so, like, how have you been, like, trauma you can never fully get rid of. Like you said, you can only find ways to just cope with it. 
So with all, like over all these years, how have you been able to cope with it? And if you have figured that out, has that changed from when you were 10 to when you were 20 to now? It has changed. I do not know if I've been able to completely cope. Sometimes with trauma you think you have, yet it's still yeah. buried inside of you. But one of the things that have helped a great deal is this uncle of mine is still living and I've talked to him somewhat about this thing over the phone. Mm -hmm. uh, but one of the things that have helped me is that I am now a parent and I go back to my parents' shoes. Mm -hmm. And I understand they wanted me to have an education. Yeah. But because of the culture and the environment, uh, they didn't share a lot of things with me. They mm -hmm. had to just do it even without telling me. Yeah. Because they thought they were doing that uh, in my best interest. Yet maybe if they had explained, I could have said, no, I don't want to go, or yeah. yes, I want to go, but they didn't give me that opportunity. And so now as a parent, with me, do you feel like you are um, you are doing a good job of explaining as things are happening, like, hey, Linda, this is about to happen. Prepare yourself. Oh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I think we try. Mm -hmm but we cannot completely be upfront with you. Not that there's something that we are hiding, mm -hmm. but that's what we inherited and we try to move out of that and above that, mm -hmm. but to some degree it still has a grip on yeah. us. Even though we don't have a good reason for doing that, but somehow we find ourselves you know, doing just exactly as it happened to us. Yeah. yeah. Well, Father, I think that one of the things personally yeah. um, that heals, that begins the journey of healing trauma is just by talking about it. And so thank you for sharing this story with me. And I have one last question. Like I said, everybody experiences trauma. So with everybody listening today, what is one piece of, of advice that you would give them? in like a way of how to deal with their own trauma? Well, first of all, trauma is different with each person. Uh, the situation, the circumstances will always be different. Uh, you cannot uh, take it for granted that if I can do this, then somebody else can do it. It, it doesn't work like that. Some people are traumatized by water, some people are traumatized by fire, some people are traumatized by guns, and yet some people are not. So let us be careful what we expose other people to. Um, but if somebody has experienced trauma, as, as she says, the best way out of it is listen to those stories. Listen with empathy. Don't just listen and, and let that go away. Yeah. Listen and hear the emotions of that person. Mm -hmm. It really helps to some extent along the way of life. And the other thing is read more about your area of trauma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you understand it, you can start to wrap your head about what's going on. Very true, but also, most importantly, if it's still heavy on you, mm -hmm. seek professional yes, help. Yes, guys, professional help is always the way to go. Well, Father, again, thank you so much. And guys, thank you for listening to this story. I know that it was a little bit more serious, but it's a topic that's well needed to be discussed. It's heavy. Yes. <laughs> if you like videos like this, smash that subscribe button because I post Father Fridays every single Friday. Bye. Bye.